So the next story that is very, very important and worth mentioning is the story of an Abyssinian man who became the king of Yemen and his name was Abraha. And this Abraha, he was the king of Yemen and he was a Christian man who had built a church in Yemen and he wanted people to flock there for many reasons to worship there as well as for business purposes. And he was told that no, we have in Mecca, there is this house that everyone goes to and you need to deal with them if you want people to come here. That was something that he spoke about or he was told. So he said, no problem. I have one elephant, a big elephant. We will take the elephant and we will walk through with our armies and we will continue. Now, obviously there is a narration that says the vast of narration say there, were, there was just one main big elephant. The rest were normal camels and so on. And they, there are some historians who say, no, it was a whole army of many elephants. But the Quran speaks of one elephant, al-feel, meaning one elephant. So the people of the elephant, a big, huge elephant, and there were armies that came with, and they started marching towards Makkah al Mukarramah. When they were outside somewhere near Ta'if, they sent a messenger to say, go and look for the Sayyid, the leader of these people and tell them, we don't want to fight. We are coming, destroy the house and we're going back. So Abdul Muttalib was the leader. He was told, this is what the man is coming for. He said, okay, let him come. Now imagine I told you moments ago, these were courageous people and these people would fight to protect their dignity and so on. This man said, okay, let them come. And in the process, the army came in and usurped more than 200 camel of Quraysh. And Abdul Muttalib told one of these men, look, you can come and destroy the house. No problem. But our camels, we want them back. So the man took him to Abraha and Abdul Muttalib spoke to Abraha and told him, I would like my 200 camels. So Abraha says, when I saw you, big, huge, handsome man, very eloquent. I was very happy. I thought this man here is a very honored leader here. But now that you're asking a favor, you have expressed your foolishness. We are coming to destroy your honor here. We are coming to destroy the house. And you want to ask for your camels, which is minor. It's a small item. So he says, the camels belong to us. We need them back. As for the house, it has a Lord who will protect it. That's it. Subhanallah. And he walked away. He was given the camels and these people started proceeding towards the Kaaba. The, the elephant refused to go further. It stopped. Amazing. It stopped. And they began to beat it. It refused. It didn't go further. When they turned it around and beat it, it went running. When they stopped it and turned it back around, it stopped again. Subhanallah. Who stopped it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as they progressed, the armies began to move towards the Kaaba. No sooner did they come closer to it than they noticed birds from nowhere in the skies. And these birds had three little pebbles each, the size of a pea. And even smaller, small little pebbles made of clay. And from a very high altitude, they released these pebbles. And the pebbles came down at such force. You know, today we have, we learn about gravity and we learn about Newton and this one and that one. Wallahi, if you take a look at this explanation of Surat Al-Feel, you will come to realize that that altitude, when it dropped from there, the small pebbles went straight through these men and killed them on the spot. And people were just watching. Allahu Akbar. Didn't Abdul Muttalib say that house has a Lord who will protect it? To this day, you need to remember the Kaaba is protected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who sent those birds protect the Kaaba for us and the Haramain for us. And may he make us from those who can continue going there in a manner that we are safe and secure. And may we never see days when we are prohibited from going there for whatever reason. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent this and mention is made of this in Surah Al-Feel. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashab al-feel. Did you not see what your Rabb has done to the people of the elephant? Those who came with the elephant, Allah destroyed them. And some of them whom these pebbles did not get to, they were injured, they went back and they were inflicted with disease. So much so that Abraha himself, his 
organs began to drop literally his fingers started falling off and everywhere they went as they went back they were heading back and his hand fell off next thing his leg fell off and then he died a very bad death so these were two incidents that had happened just before the birth of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 